All right, now we're going to talk about kinetics and equilibrium constants. So uh, I always get very excited, as you know, when we come back to equilibrium constants. So uh, I'm always very happy at this time in the course where we can relate kinetics and equilibrium constants. So at equilibrium, another way to think about what's happening at equilibrium is that the rate of the forward reaction and the rate of the reverse reaction are equal to each other. So we can now talk about big letter K, which is our equilibrium constant again, and our little letter Ks, which are our rate constant. So the equilibrium uh, constant for a chemical reaction, A plus B equals C plus D, is going to be equal to what? What do I put on the top? Concentration of C and concentration of D, right. So our products, and at the bottom, we put our concentration of our reactants, or A and B. Now, we can also think about this reaction in terms of little rate constants. So we have small letter K1 on top and, uh, and small letter K to the minus 1 on the bottom. So the forward reaction, the rate of the forward reaction, is going to be equal to K1 times the concentration of A and the concentration of B. And on the bottom, our rate is going to be equal to uh, the little rate constant. So for the reverse reaction, it's the reverse rate constant, K minus 1. And in the reverse direction, our reactants are the products for the forward direction, or C and D. So here we have these rates. And at equilibrium, those rates are going to be equal. So at equilibrium, little k1, a times b, is going to be equal to little k minus 1 times c times d. And at equilibrium, uh, we have a over a, uh, cd over ab is equal to uh, then k1 over k minus 1. So if we just rearrange this expression and move the, the rate constants to one side and the concentration terms to the other side, this expression is the same as this expression. And we also know what this expression is equal to, which is our big K. So therefore, our equilibrium constant equals the rate constant for the forward reaction over the rate constant for the reverse uh, direction. And so here's an expression that compares equilibrium constants with rate constants. So now let's think about uh, what is true about this. So our equilibrium constant then is the ratio of the forward rate over the reverse rate uh, for these elementary uh, reactions. And if we think about rate constants in kinetic terms, if K is greater than 1, if there are more products than reactants at equilibrium, what's true about K1 and K minus 1? Is K1 greater than or less than K minus 1? Right. So the forward rate constant is greater than the reverse rate constant. And if K, big equilibrium constant K, is less than 1, if it, at equilibrium, there are more reactants than products. What is true about this uh, relationship? It would be less than. So you can think about uh, equilibrium constants now in terms of rate constants, which we'll be doing a lot on Wednesday, too. All right. So uh, let me introduce you to a couple of more terms in the last few minutes. So reactions don't usually occur in one step, but occur in a series of steps. Each step is called an elementary reaction. So the overall uh, reaction, the order and the rate law, um, can be derived from the stoichiometry uh, of, um, for an overall reaction, you can't use the stoichiometry. But for an elementary reaction, you can. So for an elementary reaction, say one step in the reaction mechanism, that step occurs exactly as written, so you can use stoichiometry. And that's going to be handy.